Welcome to episode number 18 of Unhitched Your Dad Trying. This week we talk blue bonnet pictures with special guest Lauren Levi. Does this want I say something? <laughs> Absolutely. Hey! <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Unhitched or Dad Trying. We are on episode 18. Mm-hmm. Lauren, hello to you. Hello to you, Cameron. <laughs> hello to you. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome. <laughs> welcome, Lauren and Lauren. Hey. Yes. Lauren. That's me. W- why Why did you decide to come today? Lauren Levi. <laughs> <laughs> we should just Good answer. That yeah. No. Yeah. no like, yeah. Mm. The, the rule now is we have a pact that anytime you say that, it glues it to the podcast we actually have to keep it in so yeah sorry what are we keeping My all name? of it everything we just said okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> warren welcome to the podcast Thanks. Hi. i'm Hi. glad to have you here um we could be completely honest um we had someone uh bow out so you're a oh, second choice but yeah. you're now my favorite mm, choice because yeah. this other person is dead kinda, to you yeah <laughs> hopefully not hopefully i don't douche? get word that he died what are we allowed to say douche yeah sure okay <laughs> what do you want to what do you want to say with the word douche oh i was just calling your unnamed friend a douche yes um i mean we could name him he doesn't have should i name him no that's uh, that's you. A, that makes you a douche uh, <laughs> oh. oh now let's limit our douches here <laughs> you're at least you're, an arm's you're putting away. too many in the cart right now okay <laughs> but limit oh. three per customer no, um, for you actually what's that i let's not <laughs> <laughs> just gone what, what was your question uh, Lauren Levi. Lauren Levi, thank you for coming. I, I am, I am, I'm legitimately <laughs> happy you're here. I know, me um, too. Oh, I can't breathe. Uh, so, so nervous. So you're friends and uh, dare I say it, roommates with Lauren? You dare? Dare I, I dare? We do. I dare. Actually, we share Bill's a kitchen. We share a living room. Yes. Mm-hmm. Dining room. Yeah. What don't bed. y'all share? A, well, I was about to say a bed. Yes. But <laughs> beat you to it. I, uh. I knew that question before. <laughs> okay. We don't share a bed. We don't share a room. Yeah, or toothbrushes either. That's true. No, that, we don't never mind toothbrushes. this question. This wasn't that fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, you, um, I, I really don't know you that much. I'll be completely honest. You're, you've been Lauren's roommate. You're that person that I end up talking to whenever we have get-togethers because mm-hmm. you're very approachable. Mm-hmm. I, I very much am glad that you're rooming with her because when we have like thirty people in the room, mm-hmm. you're just you're very welcoming. You're you're very nice other people tend to spit on amy and i but um <laughs> but yeah tell us about yourself lauren who who is lauren yeah what do you do for a living mm. Mm. most of the time i had that one written down I here. Ha- oh okay yeah. so okay. yeah i don't see any paper oh. um <laughs> most of the time i help people get glasses mm. yeah also called an optician so right. i do that and then I, all, were you going to say something? No. Uh, oh, okay. Well, we were remarking on different eyeglass colors right oh, before we, were, we yeah. started up here. Um, you couldn't exactly pinpoint my wife's um, brand. Glasses, of no. brand. I tried like three times. <laughs> A little off brand. Yeah. 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 Cool. It's okay. Well, they pulled it off. I thought they were, I thought they were designers. Mm. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. good. Cool. Coolest eyeglasses. Go. What are they? Cool. Ooh. Uh, I like Oliver Peoples. But when, I actually didn't know who Oliver... Do you know who Oliver people says? No. Exactly. Yeah. They, but it's like a cult classic. Like, they've been around for a while. Super pricey. Mm. Um, but, like, Mary-Kate and Ashley, they have a line called The Row, and they've, like, um, gotten together with them. And so if that kind of gives you any kind of... A, does the I'm row, like, sound familiar? Like, no. sparkly <laughs> pink no. glasses. What? Okay, they're 80s. not 16 anymore. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure they're older than us. I mean, it's their heyday, right? I yeah. mean... That's true. Yeah, well, let's be nice. Well, Lauren is... Let's this is other nice. Lauren talking. Um, Lauren please, Levi. Please designate which yeah. Lauren is speaking at all times. I okay. the other Lauren. Other Lauren. I'm okay Ooh. with that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Even though your voices are very different, we still need to they are, dis- yeah. you know, distinguish them. I'm the OL. Mm-hmm. And um, Lauren is very stylish. She's like the mm-hmm. one in the house that she's always got the like outfits that are just a- before trend. And I'm like, what is that? She's like, oh, this is called... This is called a a booty or something. And I'm like, whoa. (laughs) I never know what they're called. Or she's like, this type of jacket is called a, I don't know, a bomber? Peplum? Is that a thing? Bombers are, yeah. Okay, but I'll be like, wow. She knows things. She'll be like, 
the trends for this winter are. I do and I'm say like, that. It's amazing. I don't know anything. So then she's talking read. about, these are row glasses. I'm just That's like, so I bet those are cool. Mm-hmm. She's always like one step ahead of everything. And it's probably because... I'm going to go ahead and, and drop the, the, the bomb Drop here. the mic. Lauren actually used to be in the uh, modeling industry, and she's done some acting, too. Yeah. But um, she was on America's Next Top Model. Yeah. And what cycle was it? Cycle, cycle 12. Cycle 12. You might know her as Lauren London Levi. I'm clamming up. <laughs> Lauren London Levi. Let's not talk about it. Is That's that a <laughs> middle name? Legit middle name? And what is a oh. cycle? I have so many questions. That's well, a, that's a loaded question. <laughs> the cycle of life. I actually don't know because, well, because most of the time they go through seasons, you know, on mm-hmm. shows, but they called it on ANTM. That's, you know, America's Next Model. They, yes. That's what the talent says. Yeah, pretty much. We abbreviate. They just call it cycles. So I don't know. It might be because they can do more than one, more than one cycle in a season. Oh, in like in a technical, yeah, traditional season of television. Yeah, so I think that's why. But you're, I think you're absolutely right. I never watched it before I was on it. Um, but I think afterwards, really, mm -hmm, but I found that out. Yeah, everybody's like, that's a huge deal. I was like, is it? I think it might be. <laughs> That's actually really cool. You never watched it. Mm-mm. And then you're just like, I'll try out for this thing. Yeah. My my cousin flipped flipped a lid and she was obsessed. With the show? Like yeah. Before she you were obsessed. on it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So is this mm-hmm. Tyra Banks yes. days? Wow. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So where did you go to film? Was it uh, just where where were they? Where was all this at? Um. Well, they found me through, like, my best friend at the time was a makeup artist. She probably still is. I don't know what she's doing. She's not my best friend anymore. Right. But We'll DTR depressing. that later. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Edit that one. Um, it's okay. But, okay, so she's a makeup artist. They found me online. Um, they found you online? Yeah. Yeah. One of the casting, actually, I still talk to her. Um, but one of the ha- casting directors found me online. Uh, just asked me to come audition for a private audition. So, I guess most of the time, the auditions are, like, thousands of people i mean it's mm-hmm. all like just what i've been told i don't know but the audition i went to is that like the mall the houston mall this is my oh. first time Ugh. and only time That's to ever go to not houston. a good sign super sticky <laughs> but it was like yep. oh super sticky um it was before i think the mall was like even opened and it was in some like room i don't know it sounds really sketchy in hindsight <laughs> but i like went down there and i remember I, we slept like in my friends like volkswagen beetle which oh is gosh. not the most comfortable car <laughs> got ready in like a kroger bathroom i mean like yeah mm. just real real i think stuff. you're hitting all the hot spots in houston yes, <laughs> yes. that's what i thought <laughs> sticky uh, volkswagen yeah it was, the car overnight uh, kroger miserable miserable to sleep in anyway so went to the, the audition the next day and uh how did you do some real I don't know. What? I well, like it's just this like round um you just have to bring your your best you have to sell yourself is really what it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I went with another girl, um, and I remember she was like her name was oh, her name is Megan Deal. I I love you. Shout out. I don't know if you'll ever listen to this. Um, but I remember she like you have to come up with cute slogans. Like the first thing, you have like five seconds. Cute slogans. Yes. And so she's like, I'm Megan Deal. I'm the real deal. Like she said something like that. I was like, Super wow, cute. She's got it. Like she's gonna win. She's gonna win. I don't even know what I said, right? <laughs> I have no idea. I think I said literally, I think I said something like, I'm Lauren Levi and I really like poetry, but I also like jumping off cliffs. Like I was like <laughs> trying to expound amongst my like mini vast different qualities and things i like to do i'm so interesting yeah pretty much pretty <laughs> we much. only need one sentence you gave us two paragraphs there <laughs> yeah and they, they eliminate you like one after the other after the other like just super fast um and at the very end you pretty much strip your clothes off you got a bikini chilling underneath and you like walk just do a runway walk into a camera and Oh my gosh. Funny, that's all my TV auditions. Too. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Wow. Cameron yeah. strips down to his bikini. I know. Walks sure. around. <laughs> Struts around is the technical Struts around term. with his little bikini on. Yeah. Itsy bitsy teeny weeny. Especially Yellow on polka dot me. Tankini. Are you in a tankini? Or what is a tankini? It's basically a long bikini. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I should not have asked a follow-up question. That was <laughs> an answer within a question. Um... <laughs> Tankini. You know um, what? You can keep your man card because you just said, what's a tankini? Yeah. I would have been a little worried if you were That's like, a, yeah, totally, a tankini. Yeah, or a mankini. <laughs> there you go. Which is, uh, I the mankini is the the speedo with the, um, what do you call it? White beater, which oh, is oh, the worst wait, name what? for a... 
the, the little white tank top that yeah. men wear. Yeah. Hopefully one of these days we'll not call it that and that won't be a thing. I can't see yeah. that ever going away. Is yeah. a wife beater? Yep. It's huh. the worst article of clothing. It really is. Uh, besides jock strap, that's awful. Ooh. Y'all don't I even don't know. Strap. I don't understand what that is. Jock strap. It's like that. It's this one undergarment that you wore only twice in your life if you're a boy and it was all the same size and so like you're in Little League and you're a catcher, you had to wear a jock strap and for whatever reason, it would just always be like for like a man who's, I don't know, would be reused. I don't know. Ew. It was awful. Yeah. Ugh. That's what well, I, I think. I think of smelly and I think of being mm-hmm. thrown in other boys' faces. Right. Now, from on, movies. Yeah. On cartoons, it would like fall in their face. Yeah. And be like, yeah. Like, wow. <laughs> That's what they, I've worn mm. one twice in my life and it was the most uncomfortable thing. Huh. Yeah. Mm. Do you I've, put it, do you pair it with a cup? Yes, usually. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it you keeps can. the cup in place? Is this too much? Yes, it does. It's okay. Just, <laughs> is it anything like a thong? You pretty much. It's a man wow. thong. Wow. Yeah. Man, that is yep. sexy. <laughs> it's, yeah. That's one word for it. <laughs> Who knows? It might be a new trend. Yeah. Man thong tankini. You got it. Of course, Lauren will know about it first. Yes, you know, like, she will. Oh, she'll she'll let us know. Yeah, please do. Mm. Um, so, back to... Yeah, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. You go ahead. I, I was going to go back to it also. I, so yeah, it's perfect. interesting. I, I know. know. Oh. <laughs> My <Mind> melt. <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, wow. Um, Lauren. So you were on this in what? What year was this? Uh, this is a long time ago, man. Probably 2009? 2008, 2009. Yeah. It's still not that long ago. You were, oh, my goodness. So this airs on Fox? Is that right? No, I don't know. It's a C. Sorry. Just it's a CW. That, like, no. <laughs> How dare you? It's CW, yeah. Yes, CW. You, back then, it was where there was well, CW? it was 33. Uh, maybe it was oh, WB. Was it WB I don't back know. then? I don't know when that switch happened. W- it was an unfortunate switch. Yeah, it I was. I pretty much think like Looney Tunes, and now I think like Vampire Diaries. Right. So. Yeah. I C- thought Animaniacs. Yeah. Now, yeah. Smallville, <laughs> and now whatever... It's I don't like even know. It, it's it's a weird channel, it, and Lauren and I usually like to l- take a little bit of time to hate on channels. Like we really hate CBS. We do. CBS. CW is probably right one of my it. yeah. God. It's yeah. it's the well, worst. Well, they did produce Gossip Girls, which not but, not awful, but that they produced it back when it was WB, and oh, it was really? during the switch over to CW that Gossip Girl oh. was still on. I believe. Is I that believe. When, yeah? Was that the season that Gossip Girls kind of tanked? I remember there was one there. Yeah. I've never seen it. I was trying to make it seem like I did. Well, <laughs> you, again, can keep your man card. I have girl for like two years trying to get through the whole six seasons, but mm-hmm. I'm still not done with it. Yeah. But I only watch it when I work out, which is probably why I'm not done with it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, real, I'm just really impressed that you can watch something while working out. Well, it's only when I'm like on a station or anything, like a treadmill uh, yeah. or an elliptical. Uh, see, Not that's, like, yeah. that's how you got to do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, before we switch topics, though, because Lauren and I did work out together today. We did. Which oh. was actually really difficult. But yeah. before we jump into that, tell me, so you were on this reality show mm-hmm. that most people never get to experience, you know, being on a reality show. Yes, so. Yeah. So tell me, huh. I, know I, I know I've asked you this before, but not on a podcast. So would uh, you do it all again? Yes. Yes, I would. And, and oh, yeah. No, well, would yeah. it, what what would be different if you could, you know, have your say in it? Um, he, me, you yeah, would different me. Yeah. I think that's why I would do it again because at the time, like I was eighteen, I thought I was going to go to seminary. Yeah, so I got in, didn't have the money to go, uh, so that kind of just happened. Like, just mm-hmm. I'm just happened. Um, but I. I mean, you're eight. I mean, I still like at 27. I'm like, okay, Lord, like, who am I? Like, you tell mm-hmm. you tell me who I am, but like, I'm still trying to find it other places. You know, mm-hmm. just that continual journey. And at the time, um, I really just didn't know who I was in the Lord. Like, I I so found my identity and my worth in like beauty and opinions of others. And so, um, it was really hard. Like on the show, like I mm-hmm. um have been since in a rec- in recovery for an eating disorder. But at the time, my eating disorder like just r- ran my life. Mm-hmm. And when I was on there, um, I was like specifically struggled with bulimia when I got stressed. And so when I was on there, I, I wasn't able to purge because I mean, you went in the bathroom and their rule was, I hope I'm not giving anything away, CW, but their <laughs> rule was like, if you had, uh, at least two people, even if you're in there, like just about to say something about Pooping. a turd, but yeah, <laughs> dump it a turd. <laughs> Who says that? Got the run. Uh, thank you. <laughs> just one up me and then I won't look as bad. Um, <laughs> like that where 
oh they could the cameras could come in and mm. so oh, i like, wasn't fun. right right like showering like anything like oh there could totally be a camera person um and you didn't actually have like even a closed room to go to the bathroom like it was kind of like I mean, you were shielded, but it was like just half of a wall. You know what I mean? So, mm-hmm. like, other girls were like in there a at times. Stadium restroom. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, that's a guy thing. Okay. Maybe yeah. Not. Man well, card. Was that done on purpose for that reason, or do you think it was just because they wanted full access to like catch stuff on film more so? Because you can't have been the only person to struggle with mm-hmm. that stuff on that show. You know what I mean? Yeah. I. I don't know. Possibly I make up first and foremost um, that it was for, I mean, it was for TV. You right. know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, mm-hmm. you know the rules. If you break them, like, we're going to film it. Mm-hmm. So anyway, long story short, like, I ended up getting voted off and under the premise of, like, your pictures don't look good anymore kind of thing. Oh. Like, that's kind of what everybody does. But really, in hindsight, and, you know, I could be wrong, like, I'm hope there's enough humility in me to think like could be wrong but i i genuinely think like i got voted off because i got kind of bigger um and you don't do that on a modeling show like i gained a lot of weight when i was on that show so anyway all that just to say i think i'm much more uh i guess kingdom minded wow we're talking about serious stuff that was Mm -hmm. like one of the rules no No, it's okay no this is all good this is turning into mark maron so it's totally fine cool beans i like it it's real (laughs) okay yeah but anyway yeah so i guess just just that perspective my perspective would be different because mm-hmm. there's yeah. so much to like enjoy about that right like you get you got driven around in a limo like, like we lived Ooh. in the upper east side of new york like they actually that was one of their selling points they're like see my scene gossip girls you're gonna live on the same street and i'm over here like what's gossip girls <laughs> uh, what's the <laughs> they, i would have been like oh my god i know <laughs> serena vanderwood's ah. here i know, they, I know. they put you up in the fake studio lot in la like <laughs> yeah. you're great like where you'd see all the rafting and grips everywhere you're just like this is great i got a sleeping bag on the set where's blake lively um man that is quite an experience that i had no idea we've met a few times we've talked a few times Mm -hmm. how how did i not know this about you she's very mysterious yeah Mm, i was yeah sometimes she's like oh when i used to be a farmer i did it i'm like hold the phone (laughs) You used to be a farmer. Yeah, Hold, the farm. yeah. Hold the farm. Yeah. Hold the farm. See what? I, there we go. Hold those microgreens. <laughs> that's what I farmed. Microgreens. Oh, yeah. that sounds, organic microgreens. It sounds like you pick things with a little tweezer. You're like a little <laughs> under a microscope, like a tiny little jap. You know how they have tiny Japanese food and mm-hmm. like they make it on the. That's the trend. No, I know what you mean. I've watched those videos. But the, yeah. Anyway, that's where I picture the vegetables come from. Cool. No, like <laughs> qu- <laughs> quite the opposite, dude. Big, quite the opposite. Big greens. Well, no, they were mini, but I mean, like you're over here pushing like 500 pound wheelbarrows. Like that was by far the like most physically demanding job I've ever done in my life. Like it was mm. crazy. Like in hindsight, I'm like, you are a hoss, Lauren. Mm. Like mm. self. Like where is that self gone? <laughs> but yeah. speaking of hoss, though, today, Lauren and I went to a boxing class. Really? We did. Nice. Did you get a coupon? No, we got, we did the free we did the free one class for title boxing. If sure. anyone's out there wants to try it, go for it. Mm-hmm. By the way, it's Tell not... them where you're at and when that is so they can just meet up with you. Oh, well, I won't go back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, how funny. <laughs> I will go back. I, I liked it. Lauren and I... Okay, we talked about this after. It was like, okay, it was really fun. It was kind of fun to beat the crap out of this bag, right? Mm-hmm. And our guy was really cool. George... You probably are the, our biggest fan, so shout out. But, Great um, boxing name, by the way. Yeah, G- you're right. George the Boxer. Classic. Senior Foreman. But um, we... Oh, we afterwards, I was, she was like, did you like it? Would you go back? And I was like, I'd go back, but I wouldn't get a membership. Because I was like, at this point, I just want to do workouts that I like actually want to get better at. Does that make sense? Yeah, I like, get that. dancing, surfing, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, I'm over the whole work out really hard just for the sake of working out hard right lauren was great though the guy was like really kind of challenging her and i was like please don't come over to this lauren and he kept calling us out he's like the lauren's over there and so i i felt kind of special i don't know about you did you did you feel special (laughs) i may or may not have been walking away creeping is more like it um uh yeah i liked it Mm. it was hard it was really hard it was really hard i'm so sore yeah but i mean (laughs) real talk i 
had actually the, the right the night like right before had watched um Gigi Hadid. You know what I'm talking about? No. Okay. She's one of the Hadid sisters. Sure. She's like she's like a super, yeah, big model right now. Anyway, so she does boxing. Um and I was like, I remember what her saying, like she was saying, like, hold the gloves up towards your face, mm-hmm. um, like protect the gold, like specifically. So I have these moments in my head where I was like, protect the gold, protect the gold. <laughs> you know, just with my bot like my gloves up here. But like I remember uh, she had an interview and she talked about how like she could just like mentally like forget about like that she was working out because it was just like I don't know it was like her cup of tea like boxing and I was like let me see if this is my cup of tea you know what I mean like just to really get into it because I hate we were also talking about this like when I know I'm doing a squat and I know I'm doing a push-up and I know you know what I mean you're very self-aware yes I hate this (laughs) basically it's like I am working out Mm -hmm. but I let I really liked the fact that it, I don't know. It didn't fully feel like a workout. It there was were times fun. where they made us do squats and push-ups and blah, 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 blah. But for the most part, I was like, focus on my form. Like, mm-hmm. I am. And that, and I've seen... Have, did you see that uh, Jake Gyllenhaal movie where he was, like, the fighter? Mm-mm. No? I've seen him fighting, but... Oh, no, not awesome. Okay. As, uh, Any, the fighter. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I think... It, oh, what was it? It doesn't matter. But uh, I don't know. I guess I was channeling my inner boxer it was fun to beat the crap out of that bag like it was fun and to like feel it like i don't know feel the impact i don't it was fun it was Mm -hmm. i got a blister i just don't i was like i don't think i could invest money in it i think that's where i was like i enjoy it but i wouldn't pay a lot you're like i got all my pent-up aggression out all at once yeah that was like that was 28 years of aggression already got i got another 28 years i'll be ready again (laughs) <laughs> it's like we had another PA come in and in and out. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Pent up aggression. Oh, oh I was like, I was like pro- in the video world, that means production assistant. So I was like, what I, I was thinking phys- oh. or, um, physician's assistant <laughs> or personal assistant. Yeah. Ooh. PAs, let's throw them out. What else we got? What other PAs? Um, Potty uh, personal uh, adversary. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, personal um, um, accountant. Oh. Uh, personal aardvark. Basically, personal Professional everything. artist? Oh, oh nice. Way to get us off uh, personal. Yeah. Um, um, professional acrobat? Pixie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say Fail. Pixie alchemist. <laughs> and I just pictured a little Tinkerbell that's got a darker side. <laughs> Pixie um, alchemist. These are some good PAs. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm a huge fan. Well, um, so y'all worked out today. What else did. did y'all do today? Um, church. Church. Ooh, I did the welcome at church again, which was really fun. Mm. So, so I'm coming into your church. What would you say to me? I'd be like, get out. I'd go, <laughs> whoa, you're tall. <laughs> she probably like, would. First thing I'd say. Pick up on that thing that makes them unique. <laughs> and then poke it till it's an insecurity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was feeling great before I went to church today. <laughs> church was the worst. This rude girl. <laughs> nice haircut. Oh, I'm like. I, uh, mm. No, I'd say, welcome to Normandy. I'm so glad you're here. You want some coffee? Free mints. That's what I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just but- picture that as a, an exact like recorded phrase that you say yeah. over and over again. Welcome to Normandy. <laughs> Have a great day. I don't, here's some coffee. Have some free, free mints. Because your breath will stink after, so we gave you mints. Uh, see, we don't... Mm. Mm, I went to a church one time, and they did that, and oh my gosh, you were... Mm, you were feeling it by the end of the service because it was just people would get up in the middle of the service, go get more coffee and they would go and sit back down and just people. You did not want to talk to people after the, the uh, end of the service because there was some stanky breath, some oh, hot coffee breath. Mm. All and then they got, you. yeah, they got those little life. Sa- Do y'all have those little lifesavers and the white ones and the no, little wrap? What kind no, of they're, they're the classic red and white peppermint wrapped in plastic. Ah, gotcha. Clear plastic. Oh, fun mm-hmm. story. Not fun, but st- fun to me uh, i went to a mega church in houston um no no not that one um i went to uh second Baptist. I'll, I'll say it went to second baptist growing up huge huge church um and favorite thing about going to the church was having a competition with my brother and sister to go up to the mint baskets they would have giant mint baskets that were like basins full of these little candies and they'd be like a little off-brand m&ms but they had a mint flavor to them i know the ones you're talking about and they would be a little crappy plastic little tiny bag like that, tubes little, yeah yeah well kind of well no okay you're okay. not tracking you're okay. not tracking <laughs> but but sometimes you pull it up and they would normally have two but every <gasps> once in a while i do know what you're talking yeah. about <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> then what are they, Lauren? What what would they have in them sometimes? Mint. 
Right, but what... <laughs> three, what, sometimes three. Three, exactly. <laughs> but occasionally you would find four or five. Oh my gosh. I remember the one time I found six all in one pack. So candy we would pop. get out of church, we would go rush over to the little basins full of candy, and we would just rummage through <laughs> them. Meanwhile, like the greeters and the ask me for help people we would just watch you with your like sticky little kid hands yeah, just like they, sort through all their guests they candy just, they're like i know kids love candy but why do these kids love like rummaging these through brand chocolate mints <laughs> they were nasty too <laughs> but there was something the joy about finding the one with the most in it anyway yeah no i that would have been me and my brother growing yep. up that's how yeah. it goes um lauren mm-hmm. yeah we didn't have mints we had donuts oh yeah yeah we had this too we're Houston. We had all of it. I yeah. Mean, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll, it wasn't just one thing. Mm-mm. Full bacon bar, donuts. <laughs> what? Bacon no. bar? Yeah. Well, uh, other fun story. Another church we went to growing up, they would cook the youths full breakfast. And then every Sunday, this one dude, his name was Roy Harper, would make the biggest like apple, he would make apple pie, and so you'd eat this huge breakfast, and you maybe go back and get seconds, and then he'd give you a slice of apple pie, and you would just Jeez. go in, and then you're napping all during the sermon. At, exactly, <laughs> you're <laughs> like, I'm good, I'm full, I'm crashing, no. I'm crashing, Lord. and then like a little kid mimosa with it. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> why don't they do that? <laughs> why not? I mean, it, what would what would be in a child's mimosa? Champagne, champagne, and and orange juice. <laughs> <laughs> what have Maybe I gotten not. myself into? I, this, 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 well, that's can, what they put in Ellie's bottle. <laughs> okay. that's true. She's so well behaved all the time. Yes, yeah, so she's calm. always sleepy. <laughs> God bless her. Um, guys, yes, y'all did something else today. We did. Do you want to talk about it? I think we should. Let's do it. Okay. Boom! 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 Stop it! Thunder! What? Lauren. Yes. We did something cool today. What did we do? Cool is a bit presumptuous. <laughs> I, I really jumped the gun on that. Um, <laughs> do we want to... Okay, so topic for this week. We spit, we spat, we, we texted, mm-hmm. and we ended up with this, which is... Blue bonnet pictures. Yes. Yes. So, okay. I, I, I want to stop here because I checked the log... We have people from outside the state of Texas that listen to us. I don't know if it's a robot or if it's a real person. <laughs> I don't know who some of these people are. All robots and people are welcome. Yes, yeah. that's true. I don't want to discriminate against robots. No. I don't want to start that. I mean, come mm-hmm. on, this is 2017. That's I had right. to think about that for a second, but it, we can't do that. Mm-mm. No. Look, so to all those robots out there and the pe- <laughs> those three people from the UK, <laughs> blue bonnets, they're a flower. Right? Yes. You might have heard about this. You, Whenever you see a picture of Texas, what do you see? You see a dinky little blue bonnet. And dinky. Dinky. A dinky, dinky. A very strong. Masculine blue, and feminine. Or feminine. <laughs> like powerful. <What> robot? <laughs> yeah. Robotical. Androgynous flower. Robotical flower. <laughs> um, some, it's very aesthetically pleasing. It's, I, yeah. It's, it's, and it's a flower and it's a thing that every spring, people take the family, throw them in the minivan, and then you stop off the side of a dangerous highway. You <laughs> yeah, unload your whole family, sure. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you just go sit in blue bonnets while 18-wheelers zoom past mm-hmm. your car, shake your car, and you just get out and you take your pictures, and, and that's the tradition. Mm-hmm. 25% of the time, it's ironic for people. 75% of the time, it's legit. They have to have their blue bonnet mm-hmm. pictures. It's true. Um, I grew up in a family that's done this probably two or three times in our really? lives. Yes. That um, surprises me. Yes. I wouldn't take you as a blue bonnet family. I, you know what? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't either, but that's in my history. That's <laughs> part of who I am. <laughs> Lauren, have you... L- Lauren, Lauren, number one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dr. Uh, Seuss it up. Um, <laughs> have you ever taken blue bonnet pictures prior to today? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Would you say that you come from a blue bonnet family? Yeah. No, I actually don't. I don't know. I've probably done it uh, two hands. 
Two hands? Like on two. I mean, uh, that many times. Uh, that was Oh, so over five times. Over. Thank you. <laughs> yes. I should have way specified. I was way too big. Nobody can see. Like one, two, yeah. three, four, five, mm. six, seven. Eight, Both eight. hands. I can count on them the amount of times I have taken blue bonnet pictures. Have you always been you. with someone else in the pictures? Or yeah. is it like... Okay. Selfies in the blue bonnet fields? I mean, is that, I don't know. Is that what you're <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's a sad day. I, you get to be an adult that's a problem. I almost did that today. <laughs> oh. Glad I was there. I half expected you to do that. Had you, I, I pictured you were going to grab one of the roommates, and then, and lo and behold, here we are, or you were going to grab, mm-hmm. like, saying, or you were going to grab Chaney, and y'all were going to go do it. Yeah. But, well, those are my options. Yep. Well, <laughs> that's fine. Um... It is a very weird thing to do. If you do not have a family that does it, then mm. you typically, you have to grab someone. Yeah. I have never done this before. Really? really? Never. This is my first time. Your family? You didn't grow up? No. We have like <laughs> you one. You didn't grow up? <laughs> well, I don't finish my sentences. We have like one family picture. We are not a family picture p- people. Like we hmm. never take pictures ever. Like ever. This is because y'all are vampires and y'all don't come up. Oh, exactly. I love vampires. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> That's why you love me so I much. Love you. <laughs> and why you love the CW. Uh, <laughs> mm, CW, touché, dare touché. to defy. Uh, anyway. So, yeah, I've never done this before. I'm not going to lie. As we were walking out the door, I think I said to Lauren, this is the dumbest thing she I've did. ever done. She did. I'll <laughs> I was confirm. Like, I was like, this is so stupid. No, I'm pretty sure you said, I hate this. And then you caught yourself and you go, hate's a strong word. <laughs> But I really don't want to do it. <laughs> I felt so dumb. And I was like, this is, this goes against every fiber of my being as a neat to right. do this, to sit in flowers and mm-hmm. take pictures. But I mean, I don't know if I want to get into it. But can I read you verbatim one of your texts? Sure. Okay. <laughs> can we do blue bonnet pics for our next topic? Ha 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 ha. That's hilarious. Exclamation point. Yeah. Exclamation point. <laughs> Almost immediate response. Well, because I, I can look at it objectively. And I think I said this right after. I was like, I know it's going to be funny. Right. You know what I mean? And I was... Make them laugh, as they say. Exactly. Right? Just like Gene Kelly and the other guy. I've realized I've said this before in the podcast. Good. Um. So, yeah, it was this moment of like, this is so stupid. Mainly because it's like, I would never do this. But that's a little judgmental. Like, just because I grew up not doing it doesn't mean I I didn't like it. You know, like I liked it. Really? I'm going to say it. I liked it. Oh my goodness. What's your score? Go. <laughs> no, I can't do it too soon. But yeah, no, it was so it, it was funny walking out the door. I was just like, this is so dumb, but it's going to be hilarious, but it's dumb. It was, I had a battling. Angel did you, and did double. you change? Did you put it on clothes or did you? <laughs> oh, do tell them. <laughs> do tell them, Lauren. <laughs> I, you went with clothes, right? <laughs> I did. Okay, good. I was literally disgusting after the boxing Mm -hmm. my white shirt was covered in like the makeup that i had like wiped off my face and the (laughs) raw egg that you drank before going out and boxing right exactly on your shirt exactly right and um i almost didn't even change out of that it was just like and then she's like are you gonna change or shower i was like i'll put on a new shirt (laughs) so i put on this old shirt from my college days the organization i was in MSC Hospitality. I didn't even take a second to look. I thought you were legitimately wearing a TCU shirt. Yeah. And, oh, no, no, uh, no. Thought this it was is weird. A&M. A&M, number one hospitality organization. It says it on the back. Hot but, dog. I know. Whoop and gig them. Whoop and gig them. Mm. Whoop and gig them. <laughs> whoop em, whoop em okay. gig them style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be so great if that got replaced. Whoop I mean, what does Giggum mean? It that should be a song. Whoop, mm. whoop em Giggum style. <laughs> that's a that's definitely a tongue twister. So, I mean, so purple shirt, a clean shirt. That's still it is clean. A little bit of prep because I yeah. know blue bonnet pr- uh, pictures traditionally there is a good amount of prep. There is a lot of trips to Gap to get <laughs> jeans oh, and jean. Yeah. I don't know jeans what were yours like. L one. L1. Um, We're going to refer to you as L1 for the okay. robots and L2 for Lauren. That's a good deal. Yeah. Um, mm, it's kind of all hazy. Hazy there. I don't know. I, I Do you remember Dangerous Highways? I definitely remember yes. that. I remember Hills, easily rollable downable into, <laughs> rollable the, dangerous downable. Highway. into the Dangerous Highways. Uh, I remember it being hot. Mm-hmm. Or yes. being hot, lots of wind. Uh, possibly bees. Uh, I'm not a big fan of bees, so I would say, you know, all in all, it was, you know, it's fun. It's, it's a fine. thing the family does. Were you? I mean, 
like I remember being a cantankerous little child and just like w- wiggling it around, writhing around as like I had to sit in a hot like and it's during the spring, mm-hmm. which you know there is no spring. That's, right. You know that's a joke. Um, <laughs> no spring down here. Right. <laughs> exactly. Today was springy though. Yeah. It is. We have it the window nice. now open. I mean, we have the AC on, but at least we have a window open, so it is a little springy. We're spoiled. Um. But it's definitely one of these things that's just like, for me, was completely unenjoyable as a child. Mm-hmm. And those pictures, looking back, are just atrocious. They are <laughs> bomb atrocious. <laughs> and they are awful. And they're they're just, you know, remember these um, photos that came out about 10 years back? All like awkward family photos. Yeah. And this little series on the web. It was like before even memes became a thing. And like... Ours would have been a star candidate for oh, one right. of those photo albums. It was, it was really not that great. Um, but there is a lot of prep. Mm-hmm. And so you did a little prep. L1, did you do any prep? I did shower, mm-hmm. which is a major hey, accomplishment. One up on Lauren. Yeah. yeah I'm still myself. in my stinky boxing pants. Mm. Oh, well, I did, I did sniff mine afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> you know you said that oh please do you Sniff ever test. i do yeah, it every day right you're just like dude i bet these really st- ah, please don't air this <laughs> i'm serious you need to smell because you you know they'll smell bad mm-hmm. it's like that thing we're changing topics where you like like your own scent right you like very your own animalistic farts. in that right right mm-hmm. and i you know i've always liked been you know repulsed at the same time but just this very you know, drawn to my own scent. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah, but I showered and I changed my clothes. Yeah. So props. Last thing I want to say on She's that. Clean. You like your brand. That's a better way of putting it. I, mm, you know your brand. Mm-hmm. Yes. You like it. Okay. Yep. I like my brand, which is why I'm so in my... Uh, there you go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> your brand's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, Do you know, I, I don't even... I thought I had been white rock lake uh because i feel like who has not been to white rock lake mm-hmm. that's like that takes a lot of my brain power to say white rock lake it's for summer. yeah rock. thank you i was like why well, sound special but um it was beautiful there it was like absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. if my pictures growing up had been taken there no dangerous highways around right that's true beautiful day now have y'all noticed that they're only ever on highways and i mm-hmm. came to find out that apparently there's a group of from employed by the state of Texas that goes around on highways and seeds the highways. They're definitely not with the safety office, whatever that is, if that is a thing. I don't think there is. But it's like, hey, let's take the busiest highway and then just have these little planters to just shoot out seeds off the sides of the mm, highways. And so in sense. the spring, they pop up. So I I didn't know about that. I didn't either. Um, and um, it, for the unknowing listener, it is actually illegal in the state of Texas to pick a blue bonnet. Yeah. Why do you think that is? Is it just... Um, do you, well, I just think because to protect the state flower, I think, so people don't go out and pick a ball, maybe? Yeah. Well, well, Amy and I had a topic about that. That's why I asked, because yeah. I... When we chatted about it, it was... I have this problem because it's a dumb flower. It's like not any more special than uh, any other flower, right? There, begonias, uh, primrose, buttercups. I think those are the same thing. That's um, a princess from the Princess Bride. Sure. I mean, all better flowers, in my opinion. Um, Sunflowers. Lauren and I yeah. just had a conversation yeah. about this, actually. Yeah. And how I disagree with you 100%. Okay. Right. So what's your favorite flower? Or you're talking about just the blue bonnet. No, here's here's what I said. And okay. so I said this, and Lauren and I kind of had like a little bit of a debate. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I said the blue bonnet is one of the coolest flowers mm. because it is so unique. Because the color is unique, the way it's like blue with the white top, and the way they're like tiny little bulb petals. I think it's a pretty unique flower. Just the color in general. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, there are true. much more beautiful flowers mm. For sure. Lauren was like, what about Hawaii? And, yeah, yeah. And I was like, touche. But mm-hmm. I think when it comes to unique, as far as like what we could have had in North Texas, it's pretty decent. You yeah. Know? Once you described it like intricately, I got it. But at first, when you just threw that out there, I was like, that was a nice way of You're saying. kind of <laughs> winning probably me over. not right. <laughs> well, I was just thinking in my head, like, there are so many flowers out there. Mm-hmm. Um, but you're right. Like, they have a very unique a lot of detail to them yeah i mean you kind of want me over with that i really have not thought about that it's very unique in that i don't know of any other flowers that stick up from the ground that kind of have this kind of they're kind of like a weird tr- christmas tree yeah but the branches mm-hmm. are like the petals mm-hmm. and with a white top yeah. with the white top like they just it. like like god just picked the flower and like dipped it in white paint and then like stuck it back in the ground oh. 
That is so and sweet. He did every night. He does it <laughs> every night. <laughs> noop, noop, oh, noop. it's wearing off. Noop, noop. Yeah. Whoa! I don't like my God voice. <laughs> Old uh, I don't know if I like that. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, they are okay. They're mm. not awful. They're not my favorite. No, that's fair. Yeah. I but, love Indian paintbrushes, though. Mm, yep. I didn't know what it was. And I was like, what is this other flower? Why don't we take pictures with this flower? Mm-hmm. And Lauren quickly... Pointed them out. She, mm-hmm. she knows her I flowers. Had a book. I, I had a book as a child, and it was about the blue bonnet and the Indian paintbrush. Uh-huh. That might be why I'm a little bit like mm. defensive about the blue bonnet. I'm uh-huh. like, don't even. Don't you dare. It's so <laughs> was delicate. it fiction? Yeah, it was fiction. <laughs> <laughs> I would love a non-fiction book story about a blue bonnet and an Indian paintbrush. About the um, the the highway seed casters, right? You know? Yeah, you gave me life, and like the highway seed casters are their gods. <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know, just a blue bonnet trying to find purpose in life. Yeah, and this then, is the non-fiction book. And, and then the evasion, like they were planted there one year, and an evasion, like Indian species, came in, and like um, Indian paintbrush flower came in and started debating i don't <laughs> yeah yeah guys they're wow. like got tiny little weapons mm. oh my goodness oh Lord. yeah like like indian in the cupboard yeah thank you but sure flower <laughs> way to try to get us off this <laughs> anyway oh goodness uh anyway so lauren and i i mean to to summarize i feel like we our experience we went to white rock lake mm-hmm. um i was a grumpy grumpy old bugger going but lauren was like this is cool and so we went and i was like okay this is actually fun we had we were there for maybe 10 minutes yeah and we had fun yeah Yeah. which is kind of how it should go as a child our attention span has thus increased Mm -hmm. but i don't know it was great it was great (laughs) yeah yeah that's very true was there anyone else there trying to take pictures Mm -hmm. really Mm -hmm. did you go to the spot i shared with you i did yeah okay so for the listener lauren kind of last minute was like i don't know where to go i have no like you probably didn't want to go drive out to the middle of the highway Way. No, yeah. I didn't want to do that. I so. was like, oh, let's talk about your spot, though. Maybe it's because I grew up with two hands worth of experiences of blue bonnet <laughs> pictures. Mm-hmm. But when we showed up, I was like, that's a patch. That's a patch. Right. They're not even like fully blue. It's not a field. Y'all didn't go to the right. So maybe, <laughs> maybe we didn't. Wrong maybe place. I didn't go to the right Wrong place. place. We can compare and contrast pictures uh, when we're done here. Um, I actually have. I'll, I'll go ahead and pull up one of my pictures here. Yeah, I um, want to know, did you go with Amy and Baby? Or? I went with Amy, Baby, and then uh, my friend, uh, potential guest, Paul Smith. <laughs> um, he might be a little bit later. He may The designer? <laughs> sure. I mean, he designs he uh, great glasses. crappy plans and can't be on an episode. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> really? So Paul Smith, is, I mean, it's a common name, so there's an actual oh. designer out there. Yeah, yeah, like, Paul Smith. He does, like, the, the famous, like, the monkey looking. Oh, yeah. I never really thought about that. Mm-hmm. Paul Smith is not a very designy type name. Okay. You know, I just yeah. picture Paul Smith designing a pancake for me. Like, <laughs> that's who I picture. <laughs> I don't Delicious. know, like making breakfast, like I just, just anything normal, right? Normal things. Okay. I don't know, making yeah. a cup of coffee, but not like designing glasses. Paul Smith, the <laughs> designer or monkey designer. Or I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, I got some, I got some good pictures. Okay, so picture number one, we let Paul be our photographer for a little while. So Paul is being a little designy in this. Um, he, couple, it's a little spotty right there. Not very thick. Where we were sitting behind us, there were some thick patches. Um, I don't know. You know, we're really swiping through those pictures there. <laughs> it's not all blue there's bonnets. There's not a whole lot of blue bonnets in these blue bonnet pictures. No. Uh, those you are went the, to the patch. Those are the only ones. Well, so there was that section we had to kind of... There was our hangout section because there was someone else in the thicker part. Oh, and like us. Like, we had the full camera, the family, and Paul, and we were waiting, and there was this... Uh, we get out of the car. There's a pregnant lady, um, very bold, was wearing nothing but kind of a sports bra and, like, a little tutu. Like, actually, <laughs> tutu. Um, a on, tutu and a sports what? bra. Sports top, mm-hmm. pregnant. And um, they were taking pictures. In the blue bonnets. Um, Why wouldn't you want to document that? 
Um, because it's a little creepy to have more than one photographer on that <laughs> photo shoot. <laughs> they had more than one photographer. No, I would be oh, the second. Oh no, you okay, right? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> but they were hogging the the good patch, and so the thicker part by mm-hmm. the lake, and they never left. And then when they finally left, these two little dumb little hipsters came up, and they stood there for hours and we were just like you know what we got we technically got our blue bonnet pictures we're good and mm-hmm. they actually were really nice um we took them on our little um normal little digital camera they turned out really well super cute um, got some good ones with paul and i <laughs> paul and i and baby <laughs> so it might bro be a little blue bonnet yeah. Paper. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It might be a little confusing to some without context. Um, <laughs> this is our baby. <laughs> um, and then, Paul, smile. <laughs> but the th- most frustrating thing is we're very cognizant of the fact that people were driving by making fun of us the yeah. entire time. I don't think they were making fun of you. You don't make fun of someone when they have a baby doing it. You make fun of yeah. two single mm. girls mm. out there. Probably. probably. Not or that one single girl doing a selfie. Yeah. In the group on I've never Bingo. seen that. No. Nah. Well... It's out there, huh? I will do it later. <laughs> Blue Bonnet selfies has to be a separate app. I think there's way more to you know discover yeah. in that episode. Anyway, <laughs> but um, but yeah, they turned out well. Uh, did y'all what what did y'all take pictures with? Because y'all aren't showing me nothing right do you now. Oh yeah, it? okay, I'll show you the iPhone. Um, yeah, it's all on here. Okay, so I got I got like down on the ground. And I took some like cool here. You, you can... have some literal pictures of blue bonnets. Yeah. So there's me. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> wow. It seems like you were in. That's a very spotty patch of blue bonnets. I'm laying on my stomach with my hands under my chin. See? That's good. Yeah. See, it makes it look like the blue bonnets are bigger. Yeah. Lauren did that for me. That's a good picture. <laughs> That's a good picture. Yeah. Th- these are actually pretty cute. Yeah. This one, my eyes are closed, but. We rolled up and she immediately was like, I'm going to do this. That classic. <laughs> what is it? Oh, my, if people could see could this. Could you please send me that picture? If people sure. could see. Describe. We'll have to describe. I That's... have my glass, sunglasses on top of my head. One eye open, one eye closed. Not intentionally winking at yeah. all. I don't even know why I did this. Yeah. My my teeth kind of snarled up into a grimace. You're basically a pirate. I do look like a pirate. Or describing grimace. a pirate. <laughs> oh, this one's even better. Oh. What is it? Wait, where to go? Guys, the anticipation is killing me. Oh my goodness! <laughs> your your chin isn't even resting on your hands in this. You Let's just look, see. you just look like it looks like I smell something bad. It looks like the wind blew something in front of your face, and you were not too keen about it. See, I don't know. I think I like the bad ones almost better than the good ones. Oh, me these too. These are really nice. Me too. Yeah. So, no, this was. Oh, Lauren, these are cool. You can tell Lauren has professional experience because she looks cool in hers. Mm. There you go. I, See, mean, look, I mean, look, I'm not look photogenic, her. and it's very apparent. You are very photogenic, and it looks like you're holding. Oh no! <laughs> I thought for a second there you were like holding, touching that tree. <laughs> if that was like a staged photo, she told me to frolic. I did. That's what inspired <laughs> that oh, one. Got That's one of these moving pictures. I know. Oh, they're cool. That. Yeah. I need a new mm. iPhone. That's what I was... I asked her. I was like, is that the 7? And I don't know. Do you... Mm-hmm, okay. Let's look. You got a 7. I do? <gasps> yeah, congrats. Okay. Cool, how, man. Did, how did you see that? No, it's a success. I changed my mind. Oh, it is a success. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah 7 yeah. has two cameras, yeah? Uh, The bigger one does. I don't know if the regular one that's like that, that one. size does. That looks like I'm squ- squatting <laughs> you are squatting a little squatty picture describe it purposes. for me and the listener she's um squatting kind of putting more weight on one leg so she's kind of leaning but you got your elbows on your legs and you're laughing it's yeah. cute yeah i think it's cute uh-huh. so <laughs> i'm kind of getting a sense is that y'all generally enjoyed yourself doing this that for sure it, yeah i mean you said it earlier it wasn't as bad as you thought it was gonna be no i think i will say i think it was more fun because you're with me lauren i think if it would have been someone Sweet. else it wouldn't have been near as fun yeah. because she makes everything fun and we were out there and she's just like this is beautiful and it's it just great. like it was like wonder you know what i mean it was like okay i've never done this the lake is beautiful people are everywhere right but oh it was care, crowded you know? we went yesterday that lake was crowded mm-hmm. yeah my favorite thing was the people watching on the way back. Mm. We saw some very interesting things. Um, like, um, Paul, th- uh, my favorite thing was watching Paul watch it. Uh, you know how they have those bikes that are low to the ground? Maybe if you have back problems, you can still bike, you know, being 
I don't right. know what ground with the bikes. Three, with the three? Well, it could be yeah. with two or three oh, okay. wheels. And you're like sitting and you're pedaling your feet yeah. around. Right. And you're like you. in a little basket. Kinda. Yeah. And, and so there was that. Paul looked at that person and, and giggled and chuckled as if he'd never seen it. I thought that was really interesting. <laughs> Our favorite thing that we saw on the way back, driving around the lake, trying to get out and back onto the, the regular road... There was a, you know, those little, I'm like describing weird contraptions and I'm having a hard time, but do you know those little scooters where you can stand on, it has three wheels and you can kind of put your legs on the back and hold the bars on the front and kind of wiggle yourself yeah. forward. Yes. Yeah. There was a child trying to do this y'all, <laughs> and the, and it had like a, a basket with like stuffed animals on the front. The child oh. was maybe like a, he was like a seven or eight year old boy, maybe a little too old. For stuffed animals? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> and he just did not know how to do it. And so he's like shaking his butt around. Oh, how and he fresh. was not moving forward. I don't know, guys. <laughs> between between the, the lady and the the pregnant lady and the tutu and, wow. and, and the little boy and just there's so shaking many his people. Butt with the- <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot of shirtless people at that lake that were not jogging. If you're jogging, it's fine. You know, if you're in a right weight percentage, I get it. I'm not in that. I I get that. But there were a lot of shirtless people there. Just the, you don't you don't go swimming there, and so it was just no. really weird. I don't know. I know we were really enjoying the people watching White Rock Lake. Great place. To I want to go hang out there all the time. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good. right around the corner. It's literally one street away yeah. from where we live. I'm surprised. What really? No, you take Southwestern all the way down. It turns into Fisher. Mm-hmm. And then you take a right eventually, and boom, you're there. I guess that's true. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I try to go there three times a week. It's so much fun. It is nice. That's the reason we live where we are right now, because of that, like... That's cool. I love it. Do y'all know there's, like, an aquatic center there <laughs> where they have, like, information? We should go. What does you, that mean? You, it's, like, information on the lake. Aquatic center like a f- with information. You sold me. <laughs> Uh, what do you, what, what, no, seriously, what are you talking about? I really don't know. It's I, I ended up walking by it. I was out there at, yesterday at the lake, too. I went on a walk with my friend Malin. Oh, dose. And, um, but I, I was at a part of the lake I'd never been to before. It was near where you could rent the kayaks and paddle boards. Mm-hmm. It was where everyone was sailing, right by the marina. Right. And there's this aquatic center, and it looks like something out of the 1940s. Like, the architecture and just the way it looks, and you... <laughs> I just uh, my mic came out of its uh, slot. Please go ahead. Cameron just sorry, full of surprises. Just y'all. decapitated his microphone. <laughs> um, I'm still here though. Here you are. So Aquatic Center. Yeah, uh, it, it lo- it 1940s. Looked, yeah, it looked really like like an old museum kind mm. of, but it's right by the, the concrete retaining wall part of the lake. Have you ever been to this part? No, I've never been there before. So oh, I. Because it sounds like you're describing like two different parts of the lake. Because there's the northern side of the lake that you can rent out. It's really cool. You can rent out paddle boats and kayaks and all that. Southern part is kind of the dam part where it's concrete walls. And then there's this other part that's hmm. got this weird house that's like a bathhouse. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. I know that is the bathhouse. That place is really cool. Like yeah. a literal bathhouse. It, yeah, it uh, looks yeah. like something really old. It's weird. By oh. really old, I mean like earlier in this century mm-hmm. oh but we can't use it no you can go in i mean it's not like a bath maybe it uh, is i don't know let's okay. go try it out i mean uh, they say you, those are really good for you maybe yeah. that's where the tutu woman came from she was feeling all relaxed but sure i don't know if there are baths in there but you could <laughs> probably find a way to bathe in there mm, um okay. where there's a will a nice there's a way public sink yeah a little splashing you could just go bathe in the lake maybe that's it there was a big no swimming sign which was mm. really discouraging because there was a fun looking dock just mm. like 200 feet off and it's like how do i get there if i can't swim there <laughs> i know <laughs> that you know I, mean? I have this problem because you see people kayak i hate i hate it when people say you can't swim in the lake i i i love to disregard mercury and you know spill off and run off and all this stuff i don't care <laughs> i want to go swim in some bodies of water sometimes agree. Oh even though they're God. disgusting there might be syringes at the bottom i don't know mm-hmm. this place looks fun and people are paddle boating and kayaking, but there are all these don't but swim don't signs. But don't swim. It makes no sense. If you fall off, what, you're you, swimming. You have to swim. It's <laughs> you just don't lay there and die. gently <laughs> sink to the bottom. I can't swim. Following the rules. <laughs> you know, I will say, gross water is gross. I remember I was yes, in Morocco surfing. Gross, gross water is gross. <laughs> mm-hmm. But y'all, there is so much trash in the in the coast off oh, the coast of Morocco. The Atlantic at Casablanca. Well, so much garbage. Cl- it's close to there where we were. We okay. were like two hours from there, further south. Mm-hmm. But like, 
I found a syringe in the sand. No, that's the nightmare. It just ru- I was like, no, no, it just ruined it for me. But I still surf a couple days. Yeah, I'll <laughs> swim if there's been a band aid in proximity of something. But if there's no, a diaper a or a syringe, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Even though I'm a dad now. Like, still, diapers are the grossest things. If there's a diaper out in front of your establishment and I go there every day for coffee, I won't go back. <laughs> That's like my... You know. Yeah. You've changed a child's diaper. You've gone through that trouble and you throw it on the ground. Anyway, guys, let's get into our ratings. Good. What do y'all think? Um, oh, guess we're, first. We're rating yeah. uh, zero oh. to ten. Yes. Yeah, so the way this happens... Sorry, Lauren. Um, just do a quick synopsis of what you thought of your blue bonnet experience, maybe two to three sentences, and then mm. give it a rating oh, on one to ten. And we didn't explain. Lauren is in my camp. She's a single female. She is single. Female. Mm-hmm. So, which makes sense because we're roommates. Mm-hmm. I don't live with like her and her husband or anything. Mm-hmm. Or do I'd you? be open to it if you ever got married. Fine with me. <laughs> but um, she she's in my camp. So this would be an experience based on your mm. situation. Single in life. lady. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can we play Beyonce's? little track to that sure sure awesome. hold on edit that in <laughs> i'll put it on right now oh really uh never mind i'm not gonna do that anyway um <laughs> you can hear Luna eating in the background here um guys what girls. do you think <laughs> girls ladies uh single it's ladies, only ladies here <laughs> you really are surrounded by ladies your dog is a woman I didn't even think about that. Your, Your dog and baby. is a woman. Sure. It's five to one right now. I do not know why we're using guys. Lauren, what do you think? What do you think about this whole blue bonnet business? Which Lauren? You L1. Lauren. I know. The one I'm looking at. Time. Oh. They don't know that. Um, good. Good experience. Wait, why is that funny? That was not meant to be funny. Um, because of time limitations, mm-hmm. right? Uh, dragging on too long and wah. Um got the good good stuff i'm looking at lauren saying the good stuff uh, right, yeah good stuff. <laughs> yeah got the good friends coming with make it fun uh, oh good breeze beautiful good scenery breeze. Mm. no 18 wheelers it mm-hmm. is true all in all we rate this yeah mm-hmm. one t- or zero to ten. One oh. to ten. One what? to ten <laughs> i can't choose zero please get it right <laughs> you can probably a probably a seven a seven is so, that's a very respectable score. Is yeah. it? I My mean, inner people pleasing is coming out strong. No, I would not take it personally. If it's okay by you. I choose seven. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, I get that. No, that's it's a very good score. It seems so. It sounds like it's maybe next year. Would you go and do it? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> no. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I guess. If I got to talk about it afterwards on a podcast. Sure. Yeah, but that's oh, so does this does this kind of feed into your score in a sense then? Yeah. More knowledge of that you're going to be on a podcast talking about yeah, this? Yeah, sure. Okay, sure great. it does. I'm going to take that as a little bump for us. We, yeah. we get a piece of that seven pie. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's a weird way of saying that. Lauren, <laughs> go for it. Other Lauren, that's me. L2? Mm. Um, what did it do? So remember, my expectations mm. were very low going into this. I was like, this is dumb, but it's going to be funny. <laughs> um, and then when we were there, I would like to put out or put out. I would like to point out that Lauren. <laughs> you can put it out too. <laughs> Lauren L1 over here was so Hello. aware of where the blue bonnets were. Like she, that's why the picture you're squatting. Cause you were like, you b- planted your feet in a blue bonnet free zone. And you're like, I can't move because I can't kill a blue bonnet. They're like little landmines. She, at one point yeah. she did step on one and she was like, no. And she like lifted it back up out of its Tried like to revive grave. It. She's like, stand up. You take a little toothpick, put it next and write some <laughs> twine around it. She it wasn't splinted me. It. I was right there with you. I was constantly aware of that. Right. Like, mm-hmm. and, but I, at the end of the day, it was picking not sitting on mm, so. that's what I, she was like am she i gonna might. get arrested i go you're not picking them she's like okay so that actually made it way f- more fun for me watching her like tiptoe around these flowers and just kind of like be very aware um so i honestly it's funny i was gonna say the same thing i give it a seven as well nice okay yeah. i think it would be a lower score had i had to be out there for longer right or uh, alone alone right. for sure those two would have lowered it but seven like it was it exceeded my expectations Mm-hmm. And it was fun. But I get that. I think Blue Bonnet Pictures always... I didn't expect you to go out on your own. I always expected it to be with friends. Mm-hmm. Now, with family, I will probably contest it's a little bit better. Guys, we're going to take a moment. 
You have a hard out, Lauren, L1. I have a hard out. Okay. <laughs> we should probably preface what that is. <laughs> She's got to go. she got to go. So, um, Lauren, do you, um, before you leave, do you uh-huh. have a, a social media sphere in which people could go and visit you? Care, you know, if you wish to share it, you know, if not, that's totes fine. Yeah, I... Where can people find you online? I've taken a hiatus for a long time. Well, but not so much anymore. I probably... I don't remember what my stuff is. Okay, I think my Instagram is like Levi Lauren. You'll see a post. You'll see a post once every six months. And her picture is Wednesday Adams. This is true. Actually, I think I recently took her down. RIP Wednesday. (laughs) But then I probably get on Pinterest more than anything. That's not technically a social media site, but it's a Wawin Weavi. <laughs> Feel free to... So look her up. Search that. With the w- W's? With W's. Wawin Weavi. Actually, at Wawin. work, they had us like put name tags on our lockers, and I may or may not have done Wawin. <laughs> and then underneath, I said pronounced, colon, or semicolon, Lauren. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, Wawin... We were so glad to have you on this podcast. Yes. Thank You're you welcome. Thank so much for coming. <laughs> <laughs> you see what welcome. you did there. That's okay. Just leave it there. We can take care of that. Yes. You're good to go. Okay. Thank you for coming. This was fun. Bye. Bye, Bye. Lauren. Bye, Walwyn. As she goes into the distance. Yes. As Luna chases her out the door. Top lock. There you go. Bye, Lauren. Bye. Lauren, you're now Lauren. Congrats. I, I'm just Lauren. Uh, original Lauren. It's just us. Yeah. Um. And and Luna. Luna's very present in the room. Mm-hmm. Um. My Cameron, score. Your rating. Yeah. Oh, she's not going to hear it. Oh. Her loss. <laughs> so, my rating for this week. Um, I'm getting like more comfortable. Um, my rating for this week is probably a seven as well. Hmm. <laughs> I can, we can hear her out the window. That's so great. Um, I'm probably right there with you. Yeah. I think it's a three way tie. Um, let me explain. <laughs> you can hear her slamming the gate as she goes out. <laughs> <laughs> um it's very loud uh but we went with the family we went ellie in hand ellie looked super cute we did a little prep i changed my shirt mm. I-, I wore shorts so it wasn't that nice but it was also pretty hot i saw it as balls yesterday mm-hmm. but breezy by the lake breezy and balls breezy balls mm-hmm. term Whoa. uh <laughs> and the pictures were great. The blue bonnets were a little spotty, sure. Mm-hmm. But I'd rather have spotty blue bonnets and not have the constant fear of death looming over my head. I agree. Because um, that's horrifying. Mm-hmm. And I did not want to deal with that. Um, but I did enjoy the Indian paintbrushes. Them's totes the legit. Random red patches. Yeah. They're so beautiful. I'll be honest. If, if it was Indian paintbrushes, I would probably bump this up a, a notch. Really? Which, maybe it's just a separate episode. Mm, I mean, I'm just surprised why you like Indian paintbrushes so much. They, I don't know. It's got that like coral color and they're just mm. very vibrant. Like yeah. blue kind of fades into the green. But like when Indian paintbrushes are around, you're like, you, you do a double take. <laughs> See, double take for me is the blue because it's such an unusual flower color color i i guess so but in contrast to green grass around it blue is a little closer you're right let's look at that color wheel you know what i'm not gonna argue with you no (laughs) please don't (laughs) um so we're we're talking a solid seven so what i mean what do you think when it comes to seven it's unusual we've never tied we never even had a three-way tie on anything no we haven't we we have tied before because i remember saying war like when you play cards. Oh, I just now got that. <laughs> I don't even know what episode that was, but I was editing that I and I had no idea what you we were talking about. I remember saying that, um, but we've never had a three-way tie like this. So no. when you play war, do you do the deal three cards and then you flip one card and then whoever wins gets all? Yes. Because there's so many versions of war. Mm-hmm. That's a good game. Yeah. We should play around. Very simple. Oh, that's... Oh, man. Fun. Fast. Fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Lauren. Yeah. Uh... We've put this in the dirt. Mm-hmm. We've picked it up. We've replanted it. And we haven't... No, we haven't picked them because that's illegal. That's very illegal. Mm-hmm. What do you think would happen if, if someone caught you picking a blue bonnet? I what, what do you, you think the get, fine would be? I, I think it would be more of like... Um, you would get judged so harshly by fellow people around you. It would have nothing to do with the law. It would be like the other Texans in the area would be like, What are you doing? You can't do that. <laughs> and sounds- like everyone would get like offended at you and if you were like a total jerk and you're like i'm picking blue bonnets like i guarantee you someone would call the cops like 
this the whole thing would happen. I it's like that one neighbor that's always calling the cops on you for a loud sound. She happens to be there. Yeah. And she's like, I'm calling the cops and the cops are like, No, that's like a myth. That's not real. We don't <laughs> She's like, Not even a fine like, no, that's not a thing. Like I really I don't it seems like one of these things that could be a perpetuated myth. Like it might not mm. be real, but we'll I never mean, look I remember it up. learning it in school and I like the the thought of someone in the back of a cop car and they're like handcuffed and they get thrown into like the clink, the local jail. And someone's like, what are you here for? And they're like, picking blue bonnets, man. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah. And the- no, but then the other guy's like, you monster. <laughs> no, you monster. And then they get shanked in the little clink. Yeah. <laughs> That would make for a good episode of like Orange is the New Black. A new character joins them. Yeah. I, I don't know. I've never seen it. Me so, neither. Take, take notes, Hollywood. <laughs> um, got your great script. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. This is all good. This is all good. This is fine. So, uh, you know what? Hmm. I thought about it a little bit more. Yeah. You cannot change your score. To oh, really? No, you can't do that. What are you we'll doing? leave it at a seven. We'll leave it at a seven. I went back and forth. I did not have my. I didn't have my score before we started the podcast, but mm-hmm. we'll we'll go ahead and leave it at a seven. Anyway, I think it's about time to move on to our dumb things. Deal. Dumb things. As I'm scrolling through my Instagram just now, I just saw a picture posted of my friend with their baby in blue bonnets. Yeah. This is real, y'all. Now, y'all. is this your dumb thing having? No, having just given a score of that, no, you, no, hard, not my hard dumb no. thing. <laughs> no, uh, I do think it is blue bonnets can be a dumb thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, we got made fun of. People were passing by. I mean, I think if you're doing it unironically, you're legitimately struggled on that word. Let me try again. <laughs> legitimately going out and taking blue bonnet pictures just to have them. I think that's a dumb thing. But bit lame. It's lame. A little lame. It's not. Maybe not dumb. No, Lauren, do you want to? I can start. start? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, mine is kind of a twofer. (laughs) I have been frequenting the local Trader Joe's quite a bit lately Mm -hmm. because there's a bag boy I think is really cute. (laughs) (laughs) Do you think? No, is that his sole job at the Trader Joe's? I mean, he's the cashier and the bag boy because that's you know they. Why don't you call him a cashier? Why does he have to be the bag boy? I like the image that you just got when I said bag boy. Well, true. (laughs) And picture pretty good alliteration too. I know. I like the BB, but um, BB butt. BB butt. No, I said BB. Uh, You like his little baby butt. (laughs) I like his little baby BB butt. (laughs) Anyway, um, he's so nice, and we always have little fun conversations. So I like to go to the same Trader Joe's, and and you wait in the long line where. Yep, I will wait for him. Oh man, I do, Uh, and I'm just like they'll be like, "Ma'am," I'm like, "No," they're like, "This line's," and I'm like, "I'm like, no." I just wait. I wait for Isaac. His name's Isaac. Oh, but um, he's just really sweet. We like to joke about whatever's in my cart. So we have a fun thing going. And um, I was at this Trader Joe's on one of my many stops home from work. And I saw this car. And its license plate like made me stop. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Which um, I think you'd like this. His license plate. I'm assuming it's a he. Maybe it was a she. Mm-hmm was Jedi Knight, J-E-D-I-N-Y-T. N-Y-T. N-Y-T. And I was like, uh, huh, that's Cameron's new car right there. Oh, that's, you got it. <laughs> it was like a pink, like, um, I don't know. I'm trying to picture what kind of car this... It was black. It was black. It okay. was a normal sedan. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what it was. Mercury, Saturn. I'm just naming planets, but like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Pontiac, Mercury, Saturn. I, I think I named all the ones that no longer make cars. It was a Pony, Pontiac Pluto. <laughs> it was a Pontiac Pluto. <laughs> Which, actually, that doesn't fall in line because yes. it's not a planet. Yeah, yeah so it was dog. a black Uranus. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> you had to say it. I, I, did, I thought I about it and I didn't say it, but well, here you are. That was your mistake, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did get on it and it was funny. Get Give on us. it. Uranus. <laughs> Points to you. Thank you. Um, Funniest planet name ever. Black Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Amy's got some sincere head shakes and nose in the far background. She's That's okay. Not happy with it. <laughs> um, Jedi Knight is pretty mm-hmm. pretty dumb. Uh, we listened to... Now, 
I do want to go back to the the bubble boy or bag boy. <laughs> See, I was um, going to say which one's more dumb, really. <laughs> okay, I would probably say it's cute that you're in line. It's cute that you're in line that you're waiting to see BB. Um, <laughs> what if he was in aisle eight or the eighth register? Register, he'd be BB eight. <gasps> you're right. Just take note of that next time. Okay. Um, I think it is cute. I think it, it makes for a perfect rom com story. And it like we does. always say, you fit into that mold. We're gonna make a movie off your life one of these days. Um, Sounds fun. It's going to be some legit material. As far as the Jedi Knight thing, that is, that's a little dumb. But I just see some of the dumbest plates to go through the process, to think about what you have to actually go through to receive a plate and to broadcast to the world who you are as a car owner. It's really dumb. I think vanity plates are just dumb in general. Oh, speaking of which, Amy introduced me to a new podcast, um, and I can't remember the name of it. It is called, what's it called? Mystery Show. Show. It is a wonderful podcast where this person, apparently it's now canceled, but you can go check out some of the apps. It's mainly this one uh, lady. She has some random mysteries that people bring to her that she herself has Mm -hmm. and she does some investigative work kind of like Mm serial the podcast and one of them was one time when she was a girl in san diego saw a license plate that says i love 911 (laughs) which uh, if you read it in the wrong way it can potentially say i love 911 right which is super weird yeah definitely make you stop and think both Uh, are weird and so she just kind of kept that in the back of her mind did investigative work you want to know should i tell you what it was yeah the lady did want it to say i read i love 911 now what's the other thing you thought when you when you heard i love 911 like maybe she's married to a paramedic or something right yeah that's that was my immediate thought like she's or maybe she's been saved by you know a first responder someone like that right And, and that makes sense but uh the after just this weird track down, it took her a little while to actually track this lady down, this elderly lady that had the license plate. The quick story of it is the lady was in New York, and then she had a weird feeling that she had to fly out to L.A. on 9-11. Yeah, nah, Lauren wanted to know, so I'm going to share with her. Amy's inquiring if I'm actually going to share. Listen to the mystery show. It's great, but I'm going to ruin episode four for you. Turns out lady wanted uh, went to L.A., and uh, in L.A. Um, was just her sister having a party. And she, for whatever reason, had this feeling that she should go to her sister's party. And it was on 9-11. And so she thinks that by leaving that day, it somehow saved her life. Even though she wasn't really... I don't think she lived anywhere near it. But huh. she thinks she was saved by that. And so she loves 9-11. It still doesn't make complete it sense. It doesn't make sense. No. You could say... You could word that in a lot of other ways, yeah, without sounding so offensive. Ugh, yeah, people I, are dumb. She's a she's the dumb. She thing. does seem pretty dumb. Yeah, uh, it was the way that she was described was not of uh, you know didn't seem intelligent. Right. Anyway, that's pretty dumb. Personalized License, plates. Personalized plates are dumb. Dumb. But but I can't wait to hear what's going to happen with BB-8. So we'll, <laughs> we'll see what happens. Keep all updated. I do need some more almond milk, so back to TJ's I go. Nice. Get some of that almond milk. Yeah. Uh, I, my this week, or it was rather two weeks ago, I just had a quick drive by and I saw something and I had to do, uh, had to look back. I wasn't sure of what I saw. It was closer to St. Patrick's day and, uh, around where, uh, your neck of the woods, there's a parade every, uh, every year. It's a super annoying parade. Everything. It's hard to get anywhere. (sighs) I had to go to the airport that day. It was so stressful. I was like, I don't even know if I can get out of here. Jeez. It was horrible. I hit that parade for two years ago. I was, I forgot the parade was happening, and I happened to drive by on the feeder road, like three streets over near the highway, to adjacent to where the parade was happening. And then some dude just chunks a full beer at my car. <laughs> I did not do anything about it, but he just throws the beer at my car. Oh my and gosh. then I roll down the window. I I yell at him. I I, I just. I, I I like didn't know what to do and I just kept on driving and he was just plastered drunk and he then threw a full beer at your he car? threw a full beer at my car and then I didn't was do it anything. open 
No, it was like in a solo cup. Oh, yeah. gosh. What a waste of beer. I know. It's his loss. Anyway. Yeah. Idiot. Uh, yeah, creative. He probably has a freaking license plate that says like beer heart or something. Right. Idiot. He probably does. That's <laughs> that's the type of person that owns a vanity plate. Yeah. And more like, well, it's, a, it's even a dumb name. Vanity plate. <laughs> I don't want to vanity anything. Um. So anyway, that was a dumb thing from two years ago. But this this year at the St. Patrick's Day Parade, just driving down the street, and uh, you see people like drinking in the middle of the day, walking to the parade area. So they're just drinking day- in the middle of the day on the street. Day drinking? Yeah, day Very drinking. Fun. Like I don't, it's definitely not legal when you're you know three football fields away from that area. I don't even know if it's a designated area where you can drink outside, but it was weird. And then one of the ladies with her, just you could just tell she had the the Dr. Seuss type uh, St. Patrick's Day hat, and she was just a mess, mm-hmm. drinking a giant Coors Light, and her shirt read "Drunk Lives Matter." <laughs> yep. Oh my god! It was just I had to. I had. I did not know that was a shirt. And I, You're I like, excuse me, ma'am. I think last or two years ago, your husband threw a beer at my car. <laughs> Seriously, I your common would, law married husband. Your common, exactly. <laughs> it would absolutely be common law, and they wouldn't even know they're technically common law married. No, they'd be completely unaware until they want to break up. But yeah. you know, the truth is, though, on on those St. Patrick's Day holiday festivities, it could have been a totally respectable, normal human, mm. but they turn into that person. They turn into that. a green monster. They do. Yeah. That's that's why I hate the holiday. St. Patrick's Day is the worst holiday. I don't agree with you. I'm, but you have the Irish side of it. You are in Ireland, and so you have that background. I'm sure Irish st patrick's day is great it's not yeah we do it so differently here yeah it's not here, nearly as obnoxious it is there. the only tradition is to merely get drunk and then yeah. you've then celebrated and there's nothing else and also jimmy e world one of my favorite bands was the main headliner for that parade and uh there was a headliner at the parade yeah so like three years ago was snoop dogg snoop lion at the time <laughs> and this year it was uh jimmy e world very you say, respectable you band. You say that kind of funny. Jimmy Eat World. Jimmy Jimmy Eat World. <laughs> Jimmy Eat World. Jimmy Eat World. Jimmy Eat World. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> and they were really good. They came out with an album this past year. My new thing, if we were to do that segment, which we're not, we don't have the time, it would be check out their new album, which I'm forgetting the name of. Is it called Jimmy Eat Uranus? N- yep. <laughs> Jimmy Eat Black Uranus. Is that the joke we wanted to go to? Sorry. Because we went there. I was thinking of another planet. Okay. (laughs) Jimmy eat Pluto? Jimmy eat Mars. Hmm. Mm. 30 seconds to Mars. (laughs) Eat it. Eat it in 30 seconds. These are awful jokes. These are really bad. Should we quit? Yeah, I think we should quit while we're behind. Warren. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, I don't know why I'm pretending like you're a guest. (laughs) It's been great. Thanks for having me. Bye. (laughs) Okay, bye. (laughs) No, uh, but that about does it for this week of Unhitched or Dad Trying. If you are interested in checking us out in the internet sphere, you can follow me at Cam Carter 2010 on Instagram and Twitter. As for Lauren, you can follow her at... On Instagram at Nitaroni, N-E-A-T-E-R-O-N-I, or on Twitter at Nito's Tweetos. Yep. Mm-hmm. Any updates on, on the Twitter sphere? Still can't remember my password, Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> But we'll get, get you there. next time. Yeah, I'll you'll, get there. You'll get Eventually. There. When it's it a becomes... long, hard climb, but you're going to get there. It's the climb, man. You know? Good. <laughs> well, um, that about does it for this week of Unhitch or Dad Tying. Please join us next week where we d- we'll do something fun. Yeah, that's episode 19, right? Episode 19. That's going to be a good one. Oh, y'all don't even know. You don't even know. All right. <laughs> bye, y'all. Bye.